Access to Park Street Station, Vault 114 was primarily intended to house Boston's upper class and their families. Only high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, and business people were accepted as part of the social experiment. Vault 114 personnel interviewed individuals for the overseer position with the goal of finding someone with no supervisory or government experience and strong anti-authority bias. An overseer was chosen when the interview process dredged up a man known only as Soup Can Harry. He refused to provide his legal name, which he referred to as a rank and number branded by the government and believed that the government used taxes to fund Illuminati Freemason sex parties. Soup Can was presumably homeless as he implied he used to sleep in a dumpster. He also appears to have eaten a Braxo cleaner before as he's recorded saying, I've seen the back of them boxes. Not for consumption. Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sadly for Soup Can and the rest of the residents, they would not make it to Vault 114 before the bombs dropped due to the construction of the vault not being finished. By 2287, the vault area was taken over by a mobster named Skinny Malone and his crew of Triggermen. 